how to track your keyword ranks daily or hourly. Why is this important and how can it make you money? Again, we, we talked about this a little bit before, but tracking your keywords daily helps you understand where you're showing up in the search results. If you're not showing up on page one for your most important keywords, you're not going to get a lot of sales from that keyword. Now, hourly is something that's unique to Helium 10 and something that you should be doing. Now, here's the thing. When you are tracking keywords, if you are only tracking it once a day, there's nothing wrong with that. It's going to give you an idea of where you might be showing up. But if I'm searching right now at 11 p.m. in California, a certain keyword, and then across the street, somebody else is searching in the same zip code, just literally across the street, and they're using a different browser, they could be seeing a different set of search results. Maybe for my product, for my search on my computer, I'm showing up at position seven on page one. But across the street, my neighbor is searching the same exact thing on their Amazon, my product maybe shows up on page two or might show up on page 11. Now, most of the time, the keyword ranks don't fluctuate too much, but sometimes keywords fluctuate all over the place. And so it's important to use a keyword tracker that can track 24 times a day at least and also rotate the browsing scenarios so that, hey, uh, maybe we're checking in this address over here, or maybe we're checking in a New York address, or maybe we're checking in Montana. Maybe it's an Edge browser. Maybe it's a Safari browser. Maybe it's the Amazon app. That way you can get a more holistic look at where you're showing up kind of across the board. If you see you're tracking 24 times a day in these rotating scenarios and the, the graph is pretty steady, it means that probably a lot of the browsing scenarios across the country of wherever you're in, you are showing up kind of similar. But if you see a whole bunch of uh, lines that are going up and down based on the hour of the day, it probably means that across the country, you might not be showing up where you think you are all the time. So this is why it's really good to track keywords at least daily, but ideally on your most important keywords, you can track it hourly. Let's see how you can even start to track keywords right in Keyword Tracker. To get started with a new product, copy the ASIN from somewhere. I just copy this ASIN of this uh, coffin letter board here, and I'm gonna hit add products. Now, right here on the right-hand side, I can select one of my products in my account if I'm just going to go ahead and do one of my products, but let's just pretend that I didn't have a product. So I'm just going to uh, put the ASIN right here and then I can add the keywords here. Coffin letter board. All right. Whoops. I didn't even spell that right. Now, one thing that's important to know is if it detects that there is a variation, that means on this coffin decor or this coffin letter board, there's actually a red and a green one or something like that. It's going to say, do you want to track parent ASIN in all variations? Personally, I say, cancel. I do not do the parent ASIN. I like to, to track each product separately. Now, some of you might want to say, hey, you know what? I want to track the parent ASIN. That means that it's going to show you if any one of the child items is uh, ranking. There, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, I usually hit cancel. Uh, you guys can track the parent ASIN and that's totally fine too. So now I'm going to put coffin letter uh, board and I can put uh, I can put any keywords I want. I can add it from my list of keywords or just uh, copy and paste. And then I hit start tracking and then boom goes the dynamite. It's going to go ahead and add it at the very end of my list. Oh, it's probably on page five here. Let's just pretend that this is one of the ones I added. I've had this here for a while, um, but this is a coffin shelf that I added 12 keywords to. If I hit this button, I can actually see the keywords. Now, by default, just by putting these keywords here, it is going to check the ranks of these every day, once a day. Now, do you notice here how this rocket ship is has a blue coloring compared to this? That means that I click this keyword, okay? If I click this keyword's rocket ship and it turns blue, that means I have turned on boost mode, all right? Not beast mode, boost mode. And, and what that means is instead of just tracking it once a day, it's now going to track it every single hour. So if I go here and I want to see the rank history, if I want to do that, all I have to do is just hit anywhere here. By the way, I'm tracking competitors. I'm going to tell you guys how to do that later. If, if this is too messy for you, you just want to see your own product rank, hit the hide all competitors. Now, right here, I can see the history of my ranks. Now, this is important because as you can see, there were times here I wasn't ranking, but I turned on boost right here because I was like, you know what? I know I'm ranking sometimes, right? And sure enough, thanks to boost and boost is showing me checking 24 hours a day. There were a lot of browsing scenarios where I was on page one. 
But here in these browsing scenarios, when I was just checking once a day, I was not ranked at all. So that's why that's the danger of when you're using keyword trackers that only check once a day, it might not be telling you the whole story. But right here, I can now track the history of this product. Now, if I just added this, uh, would I see all of this details of every, every hour? No, but if you add a keyword that has got decent search volume and a product, it is gonna actually give you the history of the ranks. A lot of times, keyword trackers out there, they might only show you your ranks from when you add that product and keyword. No, if we have a record of that product and keyword, we'll show you up to two even more years of history of where that product has ranked. Now here, I've got some like tags. I'm gonna show you guys some cool things on how to add those tags. Uh, right here, I wanna highlight this part. I can go back all time, all right? Well, we are not limiting you. Basically, the whole time that Helium 10 has data on a keyword, we'll go ahead and show it to you. So take a look at this. I, I'm seeing ranks now all the way back to 2019 on this keyword. And if I want to zoom in on a certain uh, time period, like, wow, I was doing so great here. Uh, let me zoom in. I just click with my left mouse button and drag and then let go. And then now I zoom in and I can actually see the ranks uh, right here of this keyword. I can see how it's consistently number one back in 2020. So this is a super cool graph that I can see. Now that was the organic rank. I can see the same exact thing by hitting the sponsor rank. Remember, this is my uh, pay-per-click uh, advertising, right? If I hit, I hide all competitors, I'm gonna see exactly where I'm showing up in sponsored results for this product. So guys, it's super important to be tracking your keywords. I just showed you an easy way within seconds, you can add a product to your keyword tracker and track all of your most important keywords. How many keywords do you track for products? Everybody has different uh, methods that they do. I usually do a maximum of 50 to 100 per product because I'm probably getting sales from a maximum of that many keywords and that's what I wanna track. Some people track like three, 400 keywords per product. You guys do what's best for you, uh, but make sure that you are tracking and then your most important ones, turn that boost on just to give, get a nice look at what is going on with your tracking 24 times a day.